Hello and welcome to this live tour today of number 459 Wokingham Road here in Early. My name is Gary Waite uh, from White Knights Estate Agents and I will be conducting the tour today for you. So what we have here is a three bedroom detached property, 1930s built originally um, and it does require modernization um, as I'm sure many of you will have seen from the current photos online. So let's uh, start the tour by showing you the frontage. As you can see, it's quite a big front garden. Uh, we do have double gates here between the brick pillars. And at the front, as you can see, we have quite a big grass verge. So what it means is the house is set well back from the road. So let's just uh, wander up the drive. A lot of parking, as you can see, and also this front garden lends itself to create further parking if you wanted. So let's just uh, show you the side of the house first before we go indoors. Um, it's quite a good side access as you can see. A lot of potential to extend, always subject to planning of course. And the drive leads to the garage. And also there is a side gate which I'll just show you between the house and garage that takes you through into the rear garden. So hopefully the sun doesn't cause too much of a glare on the camera. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day today. As you can see from here, um, just how far back from the road we are. So let's just uh, take you indoors and show you inside. So we do start with quite a nice, a nice arched porch. And through the front door into the entrance hall itself. Um, I'll just turn around and let me just point out just how far back from the road we are here, as you can see. So, uh, so as we walk around the property, if you would like to request an actual physical viewing of this property, I can see a couple of people have already done it actually, uh, please do click on the request a private viewing button in the corner of your screen. That will send us an email that tells us that you'd like to have a look at the property and then we'll get you booked in. I can see a few other people are doing it as I'm talking, so that's excellent. I am making a recording of this, so you can re-watch this on the Right Move advert later on today. And also, as we walk around the property, if you've got any questions, please type away and I shall answer those questions as best as I can. So let's start in the entrance hall. As you can see, um, we have it. This is a traditional 1930s uh, three bedroom detached, um, whereby you have the hallway with door to lounge here, door to dining room, door to kitchen, and then the staircase here. Let me just turn round, just to point towards the front door there. Okay, and we'll start in the uh, front room here, the lounge, with the bay window. Looks like there's an open fireplace there. We've got gas central heating, there's a radiator there. Um, got a question that's uh, come in that's just asking me about, uh, as this property is a 1930s built property, would it have insulation in the walls? Um, it, it may have if, if that insulation has been installed. It wouldn't have been built with insulation, uh, but of course, you know, this, the cavity wall insulation could have been installed. That is something that you would need to double check for yourself, uh, perhaps when we actually do a physical viewing on the property. Um, just mention that I can see, uh, we do have quite a few people that are already, already requesting a physical viewing. So if you would like to look inside, please do click on that button. Um, just for interest, that this property, we currently have 22 people watching today. So this property has clearly created a lot of interest. So welcome to everybody. Uh, we are in the dining room now. So this is at the rear of the house. As you can see, we've got the uh, sliding patio doors there. Let me just show you the view that we've got from here of the garden which is rather nice. Big garden as well, I'll show you that at the end of the tour. There's a gas fire there. We do understand that there is a back boiler, so it's a gas fired back boiler. There's a radiator there, and this room does have a side window as well. 
So that's the separate dining room. Now into the kitchen. So with a side aspect window, as you can see there. Door through to a sort of rear hallway area. I'm just gonna spin round here because under the stairs, we've got a very big larder cupboard, as you can see. Looks like we've got the electric fuse box or meters there. And then let's take you through this door. Like I said, it's a rear lobby sort of hallway. There's a door taking you into the garden. We've got a WC here. One of the uh, old fashioned high level WCs there. And then to the left hand side here, we've got, uh, well really just a useful store. And it does appear in this lobby here, we have plumbing for a washing machine. There's a cold water feed and a waste. That would need to be 100% double checked, but it does certainly look like that's where the washing machine could live. Okay, back into the property. Let's now take you upstairs and show you the first floor. Um, I've had a couple of uh, messages, um, essentially I think asking the same thing. Um, where in the Woking and Road is this property? Because obviously Woking Road is quite a long property. So if you know um, early at all, the three tons traffic lights, um, this property is then heading on towards Loddon Bridge, where you've got the, uh, the, the view cinema. And it's pretty much uh, down towards the Loddon Bridge, not too far from the George pub. So it's the bottom end of Wokingham Road on the left hand side. So we're on the landing. You can see we've got a side aspect window there. Any sort of double story side extension that could be put on this house, that's presumably where the access would be. That's where the door would go. So it's a big landing. And let's just show you the bedrooms, I'll start in this one here. So this is at the rear of the house. As you can see, a really good size room. Let's just show you the view out the window from here. As many of you may realize that uh, we do have at the top of the garden and beyond the, uh, the railway line, it's the Waterloo line. Early station actually is not far from here. Um, early station is probably about a 10 minute walk. So very close. So that's one bedroom there at the rear. Let's take you into this front bedroom here. Again, another very much definite double room. Front aspect window. And here we've got a uh, built-in wardrobe there. And then the third bedroom. It's interesting actually because the 1930s houses generally have a really small third bedroom. This is actually not a bad size. Um, I'll just point out in the corner, you may notice, looks like damp patches. Um, I inquired about this. Apparently it is a, or it was uh, a leak which has been fixed some time ago. And in fact, I can reassure everybody that uh, on close inspection, I found that that is completely dry. So the front aspect window with the radiator just there. So last but not least, we've got the bathroom. As you can see, it's a, an older white suite, side aspect window there. And on the right hand side here is the airing cupboard with the water tank just in the corner there. Quite a good sized, whoops, <laughs> good sized airing cupboard. So that's the family bathroom. And just on the landing, one thing I didn't point out, I'm just going to point upwards, which is the access to the loft space. Um, whilst we've not checked, it is fair to say a lot of the 1930s houses like this 
do have loft conversions. So hopefully that's something that this property would offer as well. So let's now just make our way through the house and into the rear garden. I'll just go through the patio doors here. Um, just worth mentioning that uh, whilst we are at what we call the bottom end of the Wokingham Road here, near the George pub, um, that does then tell me also that uh, the A3 to non M access onto the M4 is less than five minutes drive from here. So really useful uh, location. We've got all sorts of amenities close by, shops within walking distance. Maiden Early School is probably um, about three quarters of a mile from here along the Wokingham Road. So I'm just making my way up the garden as you can see. And I'll turn around here and show you the back of the house. Unfortunately, the sun is straight into the lens. Hopefully uh, you can see what we have here. There's the garage, back into the garage with a little lean-to store there. And as mentioned earlier, we've got a side gate between the house and garage that takes you through to the drive and out to the front. Okay, well that just about concludes the tour of this house. Um, obviously we appreciate this house does need work. Um, certainly the price um, has been reflected. Um, and as this property would seem to be the case, we, we do generally find this style of house does create a lot of interest, partly because of the potential that it has and the size of the plot, a huge plot really. So yeah, last opportunity for anyone to click on that request a private viewing. Like I said, we will then give you a call and arrange your viewing appointment. We'll be at the property um, over the next few days. Um, we'll set aside an hour or two to show as many people around as possible. But apart from that, that just about brings me to the end of the tour. And we look forward to hearing from anybody that would like to take a look. And as I said earlier, there will be a recording of this made now, and that will be saved online later on today, so you can re-watch it. And then if you have any questions, my name's Gary Waite, please do give me a call. Thanks for watching.